What's happening people? I am out and about again, but I'm back in Huddersfield. I am currently in Greenhead Park. Me and Mrs Dean are having a little wander down to the Slug and Lettuce for some lunch. Breakfast, lunch, it's about dinner time, so we'll see what's on offer. I'm going to take you guys along with me. How did you like the London trip? I enjoyed it, although it's good to get back up north, especially when the sun's out, because it's cheaper up north. It's not grim up north, all you southerners. Right. I'll give you a little look around Greenhead Park and then we'll get into town and go to the Slug and Lettuce for some lunch or brunch. So there's nothing better than a nice park walk on a on a sunny day. We haven't brought Sandy today because we're going for something to eat. And if you're wondering why Mrs. Dino's not in the little walk bys that I'm doing, it's because she's not very camera friendly today. She just finished work and she said she's not feeling it. Whatever that means. Woman's prerogative, I suppose. Right, we're gonna finish walking through this park and then we'll uh, we'll get to town, get to the slug and lace. You hear Mrs. Dino say I'm getting uh, attacked by the mighty ducks. Not today, sunshine. Not today. So if you see this paddling pool here, this was, a, I won't say full of water, but it was a paddling pool. When I was growing up, this used to be full every weekend and there'd be hundreds of kids throwing about playing, playing here. But obviously, for health and safety reasons, these days, this has never got water in it anymore. They probably need to do something else with it, but I don't know what they can do. There is a big um, children's park area up there, which is, I, I didn't film it because obviously there's loads of kids there. 
You don't want to be the guy walking through a park with a camera filming kids. So, yeah, that's it for Greenie Park. It's currently Thursday lunchtime, quite busy. Um, it's not school holidays or anything, but kids are a bit smaller. You've got a nice lake. It's, it's nice, isn't it? Just nice. Okay, so that is about as much as I can show you of Greenhead Park because we're getting hungry now, so we're heading to Slug and Lettuce. You guys, back, go back to the kitchen, listen to today's video sponsor and I'll see you in the Slug and Lettuce and let you know what we're ordering. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you don't know what HelloFresh are, they're a company, an online company, where you go on, choose your meals and it gets delivered to your door, uh, time to suit you and you get the exact amount that you require for each recipe so you're not having food waste or anything like that or like herbs and spices sat in your cupboard for months on end and yeah they're absolutely brilliant convenient lots of different um recipes changes every week so you can go on and have a look at the hellofresh website if you want to get uh the 60 percent off your first box and 20 percent off your next two months worth of boxes that's seven more boxes not two boxes you can scan this qr code here and that will take you direct to the website if you're on if you're watching on your television that will take you direct to the website uh, if you're not familiar with uh, qr codes or not very tech savvy i'm not i'll be honest you can go to hellofresh website and use the code dino24 for the same deal or you can click the link in the description now you, you get free gifts as well so it's 60 percent off your first box um 20 percent off your next two months boxes and you get free gifts currently the free gifts are like these desserts my girls love them. If you have tried HelloFresh before and you want to try again, if you if you cancelled your HelloFresh for whatever reason over 12 months ago, you can get this deal again. Even if you've had it before, you can get it again. So don't rule yourself out just yet. If you want to try it again, if your circumstances have changed, all that sort of thing, you can cancel and things like that. So tell you what, I'm going to make homemade fish and chips tonight, I think sea bass it is i've done it before i've actually done the whole cooking video on this channel really really good okay back to dino the slug and lettuce Okay, so we are here at the Southern Lettuce. You guys have a look at this menu. Of course, I went with the on the brunch menu. I went with the Slug and Lettuce House Breakfast for £9. Fried egg, bacon, the Jolly Hog proper pork sausages, slow roasted tomatoes, mushrooms, hash browns, toast and butter, and a, your choice of lightly spiced beans or classic baked beans. Actually, they didn't ask me that. I wanted the lightly sliced beans. Hmm. Okay, I'll bring you back when the food's here. Diet Coke. Cheers. And here's the food now. 
Okay, so that actually wasn't my breakfast. The lady was coming over to ask me if I wanted spice beans or normal baked beans. Just as I mentioned it, funny that. Um, I asked for spice beans. We're going to mix it up a little bit. I know it's not too much because of the um, it's still a breakfast or a brunch. But for me, Southern lettuce, I always, I always associate it with being very expensive. Drinks and things like that, cocktails. Especially when you bring Mrs. Dino, she has cocktails. She hasn't today because she's working, but cocktails can be like, but they say buy one get one free, but they're expensive, aren't they? 13, 14 quid. But food, looking at that menu, it's not actually too bad, is it? And it's really nice in here, really clean, really spacious, loads of seating. You guys take a closer look around this place. This is Slug and Let's Hudders Field. And uh, yeah, and I'll bring you back when the food's here. Okay, the food has arrived, so you guys have a little look at this house breakfast. Okay, let's get stuck into this. We've got two bacon, two hash browns, two sausage, a slice of toast, two mushrooms, some nicer looking tomatoes, that's second time this week, some lightly spiced beans, which looks like I've got kidney beans and baked beans, so you don't get a lot of them, they are in a ramekin, but it is what it is. And then what I thought was a piece of tissue, but it's a poached egg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you closer to this poached egg and we're gonna split it and see how good it is. That's where we're gonna start. Disaster. It's like a boiled egg. Oh dear. A little bit of a disaster there. It's like a boiled egg, that. More than a poached egg. Just slightly overdone. We'll give it a taste anyway, straight away from the off. It's the boiled egg. <laughs> it's a shame that, because I would like looking forward to that, even if it did look like a piece of tissue. Right. We normally start with the sausages, and these are, what about the Jolly, let me have a look, just refresh my memory, the Jolly Hog Proper Porker Sausages. So, let's cut into one. We've got the wobbly table as always. Jolly Hog, there we go. That's it is the sausage. You get two of these. Oh, yeah. They're very tasty. Very, very tasty. I'm going to dip it into these lightly spiced beans, seeing as I don't have an egg to dip it into. Mm. 
Mmm. Them sausages are fantastic. Absolutely. So juicy. Nice snap to them. Really, really nice. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I might have to keep my eye out for that brand. The Jolly Hog. Right, hash browns. Nice thick hash browns there. Look at that. Let's cut into them. You guys have seen me enough breakfasts and brunch to know what I look for in a hash brown. And that is a nice fluffy inside. Crunchy on the outside with a nice onion flavour. Oh. I'll tell you what, it's a good hash brown as well. Oh, oh yeah, really nice. Bacon, now, a little bit underdone for me. Looks a little bit pink, but, you know, some people like it different ways. I like mine well done, especially when I'm out and about, but we'll see. It's not very salty. It's lacking a bit of flavour. I feel like you, you char it a little bit and it would be a lot better. Tomatoes look fantastic. Now these are like um, cherry tomatoes or vine tomatoes, but they have been well cooked. And I didn't ask for them well cooked. I just like to get the breakfast as it comes, but you're going to cook fresh tomatoes. That's it. Oh, they've got like a... They've got some herbiness to them. Can't put my finger on I've tasted that herb before, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Mm. That's really nice. The mushrooms are staining the plate with the blackness, which is good for me if you like mushrooms. I know that some of you do and some of you don't, but this. Mm. A beautiful earthy mushroom. I say dirty sometimes, but it's not dirty. Mm. Although Mrs. Dino's looking at me saying mushrooms, dirty. Right, lightly spiced beans. So you've got some kidney beans, some baked beans, which are like haricot beans, I believe. And then a, like a spicy beans, or a lightly spiced bean sauce. Some sweet corn in here as well. Um... They're a bit different. Would I prefer them over baked beans? Probably not on a breakfast. They do have a Mexican brunch that I might come back if that's you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comments if you want to come and try the Mexican brunch, which is like a like a like a spicy bean and rice sort of brunch. Oh, I got a bonus tomato. Excellent. I'm gonna butter a, a slice of toast, even though I'm not really bothered about toast to be honest. If there if there was an option between toast and fried bread, I'd be choosing fried bread. But I'll give it a go. It's very lightly done. Look at that, it's barely done, to be fair. Look at that toast. But, I don't mind that. I think lightly, to lightly done toast is better than overdone toast. So, give us a go. Not bad, it's bread and butter in it, toasted. <laughs> I can take all leave toast on a breakfast. They do offer some HP sauce, but I'm not gonna bother today because I'm gonna, Mrs. Dino's gonna share this, she's gonna have the other hash brown, the, bit, the sausage and the, uh, the bacon. But overall, it's not bad, nine quid. It's probably a bit expensive. When you think for 16 quid, I got that at Pelicci's. This, you know, I'd pay more. I'd, I'd prefer to pay the extra seven quid. I mean, it's in London. It's not up here. But I'm sure there's some greasy spoons around here that would do it. But I don't want to keep banging on about this, but the slug and lettuces all over the country are also mixer pubs. So I have actually paid four quid for this. Now, I'm not going to clickbait the title like you guys always say I do. But this has cost me four quid. The mixer app is there and all the sudden let in the country for drinks, food. 
you'd be a fool not to try the mixer app out. If you do want to use my code, I'll put it there. And you get a free drink just for downloading the app. And you will both get a £5 cash voucher. Now, don't just think this is just for me. You can share your code with your friends and you will get a lot more £5 cash vouchers when they do it. So it's like sort of like a... And what what they call them? pyramid schemes, network marketing, but there's a but there's but it's free and it don't and everyone can get a fiver. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough of that. The brunch, breakfast slash brunch, house breakfast, I think it were called. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um I think for me, would I get it again? Probably not. There is a Witherspoons right across the road, and Mrs. Dino's just said to me, that's no Witherspoons breakfast. That was before I tasted it. The sausages are better, let me tell you, and the hash browns are better as well. Apart from that, I'm not sure. I will give this a 6 out of 10. It's just a bang average breakfast. That might be the title. A bang average breakfast. But it's not bad. It's not good. Thanks for watching this. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Or if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching a while, we're closing in on 12,000 now. That's the next target, which is incredible to say four weeks ago, we're only on 9,000. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Get in the comments. Let me know where you want me to go. I'm off on a trip again. And Mrs. Duno's going to be in the video. So we're going out on the beer. You guys have wanted to be seeing that a while. So I'll catch you then. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. See you tomorrow.